Hey friend, it is your creative weird makeup artist pal Cat Sketch to bring you guys another episode of Cat's Recreations. This is the series where I take your guys' ideas, whether it's for me to make a makeup from a music video, a TV show, a movie, recreate it as best as I can with my own take on it for you guys to see. And today's comment, recreation, comes from Deanne and she wants me to turn into the character Liv from I, a Zombie. Never seen this, looks amazing. This character is so creepy with the veins popping out and the red eyes. So let's see if we could do it. So to start off this look in any zombie, you probably want to get your hair out of the way because most zombies require a lot of adhesives, liquid latexes, sometimes prosthetics, fake blood, and you don't want all of that in your hair, right? I don't know, even if it doesn't require a bald cap or like, I mean, well this isn't a bald cap, this is a wig cap. Even if it doesn't require it, like I would still get one just to, it gets just all the hair out of the way. So easy. Now I've already prepped my skin with some like moisturizer and stuff like that, but I'm also going to grab some putty primer because it's an oil-based primer and we are using oil-based foundations today to get that really like I have not seen the sun during the whole pandemic and I lived in a bat cave type look. That is the look we want today. Very vampiric, very pale, so we're going to get a very pale foundation. The foundation I'm using today is just some Mayron cream paint that's extremely light. Think Twilight? <laughs> that's what we're achieving, but we're turning to live for my zombie. Reference pictures, of course, really do help. If you want to learn more about zombies, I would definitely study Mr. Tony Gardner. I luckily have gotten to work with him in the past. He created Thriller. <laughs> When Michael Jackson had turned to a zombie and thriller, he also did Hocus Pocus. He's done Zombieland, Scout's Guide to a Zombie Apocalypse, all of the spooks and goodness he's done. You don't want to forget your ears or down your neck in the eye sockets because we don't have like a concealer this color. Well, I don't, unfortunately. I can get a brush too and really get in there. And you want to get your lips. I'm just going to get a large powder puff with my RCMA translucent powder and really powder in the areas that I do not want to crease. Now for like I would think is the most difficult part of this makeup is the veining. I don't want the veining to look too fake or too drawn on. Maybe that's just me and I'm picky but especially when it comes to vampires and say Buffy the Vampire Slayer and what I mentioned with Tony Gardner, they really like to look, make the veins look like they are coming from within the skin. So I am using an alcohol palette. These are alcohol paints. They're 99% alcohol activated. I'm using purpley colors with like purple blue tones with a very thin, like detailed nail art brush. Just to drag along the skin some t color. I like how drippy and weird this one looks. I want some here. And I'm going to very lightly take the leftover foundation on my sponge and do it over just to look like, you know, this is underneath the skin. Some of these veins like they naturally will be. Even though, you know, zombies aren't too natural. Just taking my brow pencil and I'm going to fill in my brow just how I normally do. She has very white hair, but her brows are kind of dark. Now this is just my preference. You don't have to do this, but I am going to contour my nose. My favorite contour palette for spooky characters, characters in general, because it has warm and cool tones in it, is the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Book Volume 1. And I'm just going to even put it into my brow to really get that solid contour on my nose. Honestly, I feel like the more contour, the better. This We're not going for natural. I mean, we're turning into like vampiric looking zombie. I'm even doing my cheekbones and my jawline. I'm very much channeling Twilight, I feel like right now. I'm mixing burgundy and like a gray tone, cream paint to do my lips. If they had a lip shade, 
This color, I know it's very like 2015, but I would buy it. It screams like Morticia, Adams Family. Like if Morticia Adams had like a neutral everyday lipstick, it'd be this. All right, now for like the most badass, amazing smoky eye. I'm gonna get two palettes for this because I absolutely love for a deep smoky eye, the Star Wars ColourPop collaboration palette because it has these perfect like my lip color purpley like cool tone smoky grays in it and we've got a very pretty highlight we've got a sparkly like charcoal gray and we've got a very deep like if you burn wood this is the type of charcoal gray would be in it and we've got a black but it has sparkles in it we've got a dark maroon as well so i want something that also has a matte black in it and other like great smoky tones that are cool. The Nets ColourPop, yeah, the Nets ColourPop collaboration has the perfect matte black. They have a great brown that's cool tone and neutral and matte. They have a great light shimmer white and this 718 is the slate gray. That's great as well. It's almost like concrete gray. And this brown color, you cannot go wrong with that as well. So I'm gonna take the Slate Concrete Gray from the Nets palette. It's a 7 to 18 color, and that's gonna be like our base transition from this pale face to the darker color. So we're gonna take this all the way to the brow bone, all the way to that contour we did on our nose bridge, and all the way at the bottom as well, even a little further towards the orbital socket of our eye. And you can even use the same brush for this. We're gonna graduate down to these cool tone colors. See the difference how this looks a little bit more shadowed in, but still not skipping and there's a good blend of transition. Another great palette for this would be that gigantic, is it Morphe has that smoky eye? ColourPop definitely has like a stone fox like smoky eye. I think Morphe has one as well. I just like the blendability of color pops and they're really affordable. All right, now we're gonna get an even darker tone and really get in closer to where your eyelid is. Another cool tone, like light brown gray is the transition on the edges of that darker gray we just did. Now we're gonna take the matte black and really get up in there to do the darkest shade closest to the lash lines on the bottom and the top. Now that we have the shadowing done, I'm gonna get a black gel liner and warm it on the back of my hand and just do this part of makeup that is kind of like cringe, honestly. You know, it's not the most fun part. You don't have to do this, you know, cause a lot of people are squeamish here, but I am just running this on my waterline. And yeah, do not put this on your waterline and then use the same one on someone else. You have to disinfect it. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna take some of the matte black eyeshadow and just put it on the inside of my lip with ombre. We cannot forget to curl them lashes, put some mascara on. I might even put some tiny lashes on. All right, I really need to buy a new mascara because this mascara is my least favorite. It's the Hydrofuse Voluminous, Voluminous L'Oreal Carbon Black. I don't like it for some reason. It's not Lash Paradise, but I'll use her up. Okay, before I do any blood, I am going to put in contact lenses before I get my hands too dirty. We gotta get the red contact lenses, you know? That's what Liv is about, with the red eyes. A zombie. I'm gonna put a red, like, sweater on. I'm gonna put my white hair wig on. All right, blood. We gotta put blood on the hand. What I really like to do is get this bloody color from my Mayron palette. This one right here. And I'm gonna put some in my mouth, why not? And there you have it, your live from iZombie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Deanne, for suggesting this. Leave a comment down below on what you would like to see in the next Cats Recreations. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box if you wanna create a zombie like this or live herself. If I love your comment, I'll definitely pick yours to recreate for these videos. This is so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Stay spooky.